Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the transport of gases and we are going to concentrate on the topic transport of carbon dioxide within the body. So, carbon dioxide is actually transported in two forms. First, in the form of carb amino hemoglobin and second in the form of bicarbonate ions. So, first let us start our discussion with understanding how carbon dioxide is transported in the form of carb amino hemoglobin. So, hemoglobin it can again bind to carbon dioxide as well as it can bind to oxygen. So, the bound carbon dioxide with the hemoglobin is known as carb amino hemoglobin. Now, what happens at the tissues? At the tissues, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is very high. We know because of metabolic activities, carbon dioxide is released. Hence, the par partial pressure of carbon dioxide at the tissue level is quite high. Whereas, the partial pressure of oxygen is low because the oxygen has been utilized and in turn carbon dioxide has been formed. So, under this condition, it allows the binding of hemoglobin with carbon dioxide and hence results in the formation of carb amino hemoglobin. Now, let us see what is happening at the alveoli. At the alveoli, we know the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is low and the partial pressure of oxygen is high. Why low? Because this uh, carbon dioxide has been brought by the blood to the alveoli whereas at the alveoli we have the atmospheric air which has got a huge amount of oxygen. So, partial pressure of oxygen is quite high. So, this is the condition which allows the dissociation of carbon dioxide from the carb amino hemoglobin. So, carb amino hemoglobin it releases carbon dioxide and it is released out through the alveoli from the nostrils. Now, let us study about the second type or second form how carbon dioxide is transported within the body. It is transported as bicarbonate ions. Now, within our body, within the RBCs, there is huge amount of an enzyme which is known as carbonic anhydrase. Now, this anhydrase, carbonic anhydrase is also present in very small amounts in the plasma. So, this enzyme actually plays a very important role in transporting of carbon dioxide in the form of bicarbonate ions. So, let us understand this. First, at the tissue level, we have already discussed that the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is high. Under this condition, the carbon dioxide it diffuses into the blood and results in the formation of bicarbonate ions and hydrogen ions. So, this is the reaction. We have talked that the carbon dioxide partial pressure is high. So, more amount of carbon dioxide in the tissues. So, carbonic anhydrase along with water molecules, it is first formed into carbonic acid. Now, this carbonic acid again dissociates into bicarbonate ions again by the same enzyme carbonic anhydrase into bicarbonate ions and hydrogen ions. Now, in this form it is carried by the blood to the alveoli. Now, let us see what is happening at the alveoli. We know at the alveoli the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is very low. Under this condition what happens carbon dioxide and water molecule is formed hence carbon dioxide is released. So, the reaction catalyzed by again the same enzyme carbonic anhydrase is absolutely the reverse reaction that is happening in the tissues. So, what happens? The carbon dioxide, the bicarbonate ions and the hydrogen ions carried by the blood to the alveoli, it is being converted into carbonic acid by the enzyme carbonic anhydrase and here this carbonic acid is then in turn converted into carbon dioxide and water molecule and this carbon dioxide is released from the nostrils through the alveoli and out through the nostrils. Now, 100 ml of deoxygenated blood, it can deliver up of about 4 milliliters of carbon dioxide. So, in this video, we have talked about the transport of gases, basically the transport of carbon dioxide, how they are transported from the tissues to the alveoli and released out through the nostrils, what are the conditions that actually favors the formation of carb amino hemoglobin at the tissues and at the alveoli level. We have also talked about how carbon dioxide is transported as bicarbonate ions and the importance of the enzyme carbonic anhydrase. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.